Aircraft maintenance is always looking for innovative methods and processes to use natural ground time most efficiently. Mechanical engineer Jochen Schuttner worked on vacuum technology in his diploma thesis and, inspired by the topic, developed a procedure that he then submitted as an impulse suggestion. At the Los Fair, he won over the innovation team of aircraft engineering to support his idea and has been developing it further together with project manager Stefan Mehler. In the first step of the vacuum procedure, the surrounding structure of the window or door has to be checked for damage or contamination and may have to be cleaned in order to ensure a proper result. Then a fleece pad is put on the section to be checked and lightly fixed. It later ensures that a vacuum can be generated. To achieve a closed cavity, the fleece is covered with an airtight pad. After several experiments with various materials, latex turned out to be the ideal material as it is elastic, seals in a self-contained way and can also be reused. It's important that the latex pad overlaps the fleece so that the area is airtight. By means of an injector pump, a vacuum of about 7.8 psi that corresponds to about 0.54 bar is created and simulates the maximum pressure difference during flight. With a measuring device, the cause of an annoying whistling noise can be exactly localized in the cabin. A highly sensitive directional microphone perceives every noise, amplifies it acoustically and shows amplitudes graphically. The vacuum procedure is an easy alternative to pressurizing the cabin on the ground. Not only does it simultaneously permit additional work on the aircraft, but also contributes to a targeted troubleshooting which may result in saving several hundred man-hours a year.